I can't decide between Harry Potter and the Prisoner <laughs> of Azkaban or <laughs> Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix. Wait, huh? <laughs> you 10 years old or...? <laughs> I feel very judged right now. Is this a safe space? <laughs> this is safe. No, but I just like how it made me feel. <laughs> <laughs> I like how it made me feel. If not, then it's Bridgerton lah. Okay, okay Bridgerton. Bridgerton. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of The Hot Pot where we hop into different transitions in life. My name is Nick. I'm Q. I'm Joey. Today is a very special episode. It is our 40th episode. <laughs> four zero. That's Oh a my lot. god. Who would have thunk it eh? Thunk. Who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it? <laughs> okay. That we would have made it to 40. Yeah. But we did. We and did uh, today it is a very self-important episode. The episode that nobody asked for. <laughs> <laughs> no one really cares lah. 40 questions to get to know us. Mm. Your hosts of the hot pot. Nick, Joey and Kill. I'm actually very excited because I love yeah. like Unscripted getting episodes. to know. And I love getting to know y'all better. Please. Yeah. You can? If after 40 episodes, you don't know me well enough, me. Okay. Actually, this is just question pot times 40 times. So fun. Yeah. We love question pot. Yeah. yeah. Do you all know? No, we love question pot. Every time got no question pot, I'm very upset. True. Sure. Got no question pot. Sometimes it won't. Like, you know, wait, 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 subscribe. Uh, uh. <laughs> Have you guys subscribed? That is our segue. Subscribe. Subscribe right now. Yeah. Okay, let's begin our 40 questions. Okay, all question right. number one. What is your full name? <laughs> Go. Nicholas Yim Chun Xiong. Yan Chun Xiang. The surname Yim. Actually, I've learned um, that it's supposed to be Yam. Yam Sing. Yeah. My name is Lim Yun Qian. Yeah. Uh, Yun Qian, to be exact. Mm. Uh, my name was actually swan by a fortune teller. Uh. Wow. It's supposed to represent a bamboo forest because the the guy predicted that I'll be feisty. He's not wrong. Bamboo forest? Uh? Why bamboo forest? Balance the feistiness in me. My full name was Tan Joey. That's it. After getting married, I changed my name to Joey Tan Dash Triano because I wanted to keep my Chinese Oh, you hyphen uh. Yeah, I did. Hey, you missed You're out on your Mandarin. My name is Chen Bao Bao. Joey Tan hyphen Triano Chen Bao Bao. Yeah. Next question. How old are you this year? Ooh. I'm 30. 29? 29. 29. Yeah. All right. When is your birthday? 9 January 1994. I am a Capricorn. <gasps> if that matters. If that matters. <laughs> and then, fun fact, I am a rooster, even though the rest of my cohort are mostly dogs. Like uh, the Chinese zodiac. Don't call people dog. Ah. Oh, you're very rude, yeah. eh? Yeah. Um, my birthday is a very... Nice number. It's 7-7. Seven, seven. Wow. What's and your horoscope? Horoscope is cancer if that matters. Yes. 20th February 1995. I'm a Pisces. <gasps> oh yeah. Where were you born? Which hospital? Glen Eagles Hospital. Thompson Medical Center. Oh my god, you look like a Glen E baby. <laughs> what is a Glen E baby? Mean? Thompson makes sense also. What no, because some people, I can guess what hospital they were born in. <laughs> on. You don't say after we reveal eh? That's why. Right. No, 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 I should have guessed what is, before. Okay, what is the quintessential Thompson baby? What's the traits? No, it's a vibe. <laughs> anyway, guess mine. You are Mount Avenir. Close. Mount E. Mount Elizabeth. Oh. Yeah, you got Mount E vibes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, do you have any siblings? And if so, how many? I got two siblings. One younger sister, one younger brother. My younger sister is one year younger than me. My younger brother is 10 years younger than me. I sat next to his sister in class at one point. Yeah, she really very kids. quiet. She's like him, but like that. Nine five kids. Like very <laughs> quiet. I have one sister, one older sister, one older brother. Um, My brother's name is Ling Junjie, by the way. <laughs> But Junjie is like... And they were born around the same time, so it's not like he copied. Like, my, my parents did not yeah, yeah, name yeah. him yeah, after no, Lee Junjie. Oh my god, your brother's okay. same with Ed Sheeran. Ah. But okay, yes. Only child. Mm. Yeah. Love that. Yeah, love that. Talk to yourself every day. What primary school were you from? I was from Pioneer Primary School. Oh, so cute. PP. I was from Pee-pee. Bukit Panjang yes. Primary School. Eh? Oh, where's that? Yeah, I stay in the West. We all West these, right? Yeah. Last time. You? Pei Hua Presbyterian Primary School. Me oh. think Huh? I think Pei the most good school out of the Is it? three of us. No, I tell you, I'm stuck in Boon Lay for them long. That's why I, I, my worldview, right? It's Boon Lay. It's Boon Lay nasi lemak. Boon Lay power nasi lemak. Boon Lay power nasi lemak. I only walk one km from my school. <laughs> Nothing more. <laughs> okay, moving on. What secondary school were you from? <laughs> what? <laughs> I really neighborhood school. Yeah, I all the way. I was from Boon Lay Sec. 
Oh, Pioneer then Boon Lay. Yeah. Yeah. primary school to secondary school, how far away? Solid 2km? <laughs> Not even 1, 2.4. What, 2. the 2.4km? <laughs> <laughs> I was from Hillgrove Secondary oh, School. With Got my here sister. Before. I was from SGI. Wow. Yeah. Which CCA did you have in secondary school? That's wait. Do we know each other's? We've one? done this before. Our very yeah. first meeting. Uh, I guessed everybody's CCA correctly. correctly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can. How about you say? I forgot already. Is it track and field? No. no. Oh, actually, I was in track and field. I was in badminton, and I was also in track and field specifically. Uh, I was a javelin thrower. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Like caveman, eh? Can I imagine you I feel like <laughs> Nick with badminton, he'll take it very seriously. I can see him swinging the record, then got sound. The <laughs> sound. Fun fact, right? There was a point in secondary school where I really considered like playing badminton full time. He really loved the Oh my god, you could have been low can you. Then the other fun fact, right? <laughs> is that the reason why I did not play full-time, right, was because when I was in secondary school, there was some age group competition. Then I played against Loki and you. I think he's two or three years younger than me, but we played in some open competition. And, and then you got, got trashed. Whooped. Interesting. That was my sobering moment. Wow. I was a Chinese dancer. Chinese and modern dancer. Mm. I was chairman. <gasps> I love it eh. I was in basketball, then I was in track and field, then I was in choir, and then art club. What is your favourite childhood memory? Wow, so hard. My favourite childhood memory was every Sunday, Pokemon would. Yes, yes. Pokemon in the morning, right? On Sunday morning, right? Breakfast. My siblings and I will wake up and run to the TV to watch it. Sometimes we will, so we will stay up uh, till really late to watch the CD Chinese version. Then my mother will knock on the door and say, you all better go sleep now. I did the Kids Central rap. Oh my god, you're a Mingxing, you're a celebrity. I remember it was a Kids Central event, my parents brought me there. Then they're like, would you like to do that? I'm like, oh, yeah. Then I ran nervous. Then, <laughs> Mary, so it's, you know the, the rap, 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 right? Then suddenly when it's me, right? It's Mary, Kate, and Ashley, and just as they're friends. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like that stress. Wow, wow, she not only did the MRT yeah. <laughs> song, but also Kids Central. You are ingrained in amazing. our culture. Eh. Yeah. I want to find the video. Favorite childhood memory is my sister and I, and this was before my brother was born, because he's a lot younger. So it was two of us. Then we would just play PlayStation 1 during school, like June holiday, right? When yeah. we go to school. And then in the middle of the day, right, the ice cream uncle will come <gasps> downstairs. And you then you have a small window, right? Because the fella only stay there five minutes. So very little time to like run to like knock on my like my parents' room. Like, mommy, mommy! <laughs> ice cream here! <laughs> ice cream lie Oh my god, the thought like of little Nick. Like, mommy, then there'll be fifty percent chance, right? You go down already, he drive away. <gasps> Happened before, very sad. But then when you get the ice cream, right? Wow. Uh, I, get, I get it. It's different. Mm. Eh? What is your favourite restaurant in Singapore? Wow, gatekeep or don't gatekeep? Okay, I will choose this cafe. It's called Fuel Plus. They have phenomenal tom yum pasta and like maple honey wings. I'm quite seasonal. So like I have moods. Lah, but mm. uh, go-to restaurant, Gavroche, French food. Favourite neighbourhood in Singapore? Little India. Tanjong Baga. Hmm... Uh, Maybe Tanjong Paga. Yeah, it's just a lot of food and peaceful vibes, I think. The office was there for a while. I enjoyed being mm. in Tanjong Paga. Wow. Why? Little India? Cultural. It reminds me of my childhood. Because oh. I spent time in India as a kid. <laughs> oh, <And> reasons. <laughs> Damn lame. <laughs> you got a lot of food. No, I mean, my inner child era, guys. Mm. That's why. What's your MBTI? ENFJ. ENFJ. I am uh, ENFP turned INFP recently. You're introvert now? Yeah, but very, very borderline. La. Yeah, I was ENFP always and now suddenly ENFJ. And I'm not saying that because I am. I think it's cool to be introverted. La. It's like, like that. And I never purposely try to be introvert. <laughs> like, no one never... is saying that. No, because I always see like all the extroverts always like, oh, I think I'm an ambivert or I'm an introvert. That's me. I thought I was an yeah, introvert. No, no, no. Then I realised You're I, the highest I, E I, in I really this. am very E because even when I'm tired, I don't feel like it. I can turn it on. She literally had a whole day out and she's still energetic. Yeah. Yeah. Love. It, against my will sometimes. It is what it is. Who is your best friend? <gasps> You're better say your partners right <laughs> she now. Said Jesus. <laughs> I feel like if I say it's my husband is like cop out, right? Why no, okay. is it a cop out? Who's your second best friend? <laughs> okay. Ah, it's tight leh. Sarah. Sarah and Charmin. Mm. Both SS. Love y'all. Jazz. Then <laughs> a bit hard, but my the best man at my wedding is um is uh this guy called Jerry. Mm. We were secondary school friends. Oh. The reason why I say like 
Jerry is my best friend is also because Jess is like opposite of me in terms of like personality types and mm. things like that. Whereas I think he's in the middle. Oh. I always refer to him as my conscience. <gasps> yeah. oh. That's quite sweet. Eh. That's so sweet. I think mm. the sweetest thing you say about anybody. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Oh my it's God. quite a matter of fact. La, but Jerry. Oh. Well, I don't have a best friend. Yeah, we've unpacked this before. Yeah, yeah, I don't see the need of having a best friend. I had best friends in primary and secondary school, but then I couldn't meet their expectations. As in of like being enough. there. <laughs> oh. Because I'm oh. someone who focuses a lot on what's going on at, in the now, right? That mm. I can't really have so much time for them. And then I think eventually I, I, I did express to them like, you do you, I, I do me, and then we'll meet whenever we can. And now that's why I don't really have best wow. friends anymore. Mm. But that's so mature like, of you for that age, especially. It took me a while to, yeah. to understand that. But before that, I was like struggling with the expectations. Yeah. Mm. Okay, what is your favourite colour right now? <gasps> Red. Green. Right. What's your favourite Netflix show? It's either Stranger Things or like if light hearted a bit, then it's the Terrace House. Huh? Yeah. Mm. That's your best. I really like Terra's house. Why? Uh? Yeah, just like Japanese culture. Uh. I think you was good. I think mine would be surprisingly physical 100. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> no, it's one of my... <laughs> <laughs> it's one of my top, eh. <gasps> Why? Okay, the adrenaline it gave me, right? What, what? adrenaline? <laughs> I feel very judged right now. <laughs> is this a safe space? <laughs> this is safe. safe. Wow. Wait, I do you not enjoy it? I would expect you okay to The game's a bit like, huh? Doesn't make sense. Like, not fair to everybody. Yeah, uh, sure. <laughs> no, but I just like how it made me feel. <gasps> <laughs> I like how it made me feel. <laughs> if not, then it's Bridgerton lah. Okay, okay Bridgerton. Bridgerton. Favourite YouTube channel? I can't know. I'm stuck between two. Master. Cody Cole. Who is Cody Cole? I also don't know. Eh. Oh my god, he's so funny. Okay, send us link later. You better make us laugh. <laughs> uh, I, then I don't want to say Cody Cole anymore. Too bad, too bad, too bad. First of all, My favourite YouTube channel Ready? is Bloomberg. the <laughs> Liverpool FC YouTube channel. <laughs> Close enough. Bloomberg got a YouTube channel. I think they should have. I think you already subscribed. Yeah. <laughs> Liverpool FC, game highlights. Glory, Behind the scenes. Glory, man, you know. Wrong club. My favourite channel is Jubilee. Oh. Uh. Mm. Commercial Come break! break! Okay, next question. Have you subscribed already? <gasps> oh, so it's not for us, it's for them. <gasps> Breaking the fourth wall. Fourth, fortieth wall. <gasps> if you haven't already subscribed, please press. Please, then, please. Yeah. Please. Please, 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 please. Would you start your own YouTube channel? Yeah, sure, why not? Do some vlogs. <laughs> Can put some effort into your answer. Do some vlogs. Nick what? tries. No, technically. <laughs> <laughs> Nick tries. Nick vlogs. Nick travels. Nick plays. <laughs> Play what? Beyblade. <laughs> <laughs> Let him be. <laughs> then he's just in his army tea. Yeah. Sit cross like on the floor. And then just no, like, he know army tea. He outro already. Oh, yeah. sorry. But technically, we all have a YouTube channel. What? Yeah, la, to, yeah. It's your YouTube account. La. <laughs> to reply no, to YouTube comments. channel means you are a content creator on YouTube. I, you got, uh, I haven't in a video. while, uh, but you yeah. Also got, uh, yeah. No, I only do my travel videos last time, but then I stopped already. Yeah. Let me tweak this question. If you could be a YouTuber, what kind of videos would you make? I would do S Sophia Chang kind of vibes. Mm. Which is like... Um, lifestyle. Very lifestyle and then very aesthetic uh, visuals. I think I have very low effort. You should do something where you're always in a rush, then you're like in the nick of time. Mm. <sighs> oh idea. my god, what a great IP name. Content. What is your favourite type? And then, since you're asking me also, and you didn't forget about me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, gross, <laughs> huh? Hey, girl. Oh, thanks for asking so, me. So, do your hey, cover, jo lor. Joey, Joey. Yeah. What about you? Oh, my God. <laughs> Let me just think about jo this. I'll Joyce be like, Avenue. <laughs> Like Plan D. I want to be like Plan D also. You, okay, you barely see her face, but then like, if she's like, oh, let's go to the market today. I want to make a necklace. Then she'll buy the, the things to make a necklace. Then she'll make, and you just make with her. It's very calming. Not a lot of talking. So mm, you just hear this. This is my song. kind of content also. I love. I love her. I love you so not much. Bad, not bad, not bad. What is your favourite time of the day? <gasps> Night time. Right before bed. Like when I'm, when I'm in bed and I got my screen time. Same. But mine is around like 10 p.m. Yeah. Because that's when I apply my skincare already. Ah, uh, then I lock off. Aircon mm. under my sheets. Correct. Mine is breakfast. <laughs> yeah. 
Right, I'm making my. You are already fifty, eh? Right, I'm making my morning cup of coffee. Mm. I will sometimes like try to sleep earlier so my breakfast can come faster. Oh, <laughs> so cute! Quite cute, yeah. Yeah. Quite cute. What is your favorite book? Wow. The Bible. Oh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, can you? <laughs> no, I, can no, you say first? Okay, I need no. to think. I need to think. That's your answer. I need to um, think. The Tattooist of Auschwitz. I read it in Germany. That was my first solo trip. Mm. And then I started reading since then. I like Atomic Habit. That's my second favorite. Mm. I can't decide between Harry Potter and the Prisoner <laughs> of Azkaban or <laughs> Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix. Wait, huh? You 10 years old or <laughs> You never read a single book after that? <laughs> oh, wait. No, I just... No, it's not funny. This is your no, inner child speaking This is off. validator. It's just we went from Auschwitz to self-help to at a prisoner of Azkaban. <laughs> okay, Actually, okay. the first thing that came to mind wasn't the Harry Potter ones. It was Artemis Fowl. You all know or not? Oh my god, Mr. Midnight. <gasps> Stop invalidating okay, my okay, okay. No, no, favorite no. books. Harry Potter is very valid. No, yeah. that's really your favorite. I think so. Okay. What is your favorite city? Oh, so interesting. New York. Mine would be Osaka. Oh. Or Kyoto. Is Kyoto considered? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kyoto. Okay, yeah. then right. I would Kyoto. say Kyoto actually. Mm. Because of how it made me feel. <laughs> 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 Actually, when I was younger, I really liked New York. Mm. really felt like, wow, like the energy of the mm. place. This is where things happen. Then, as I grew older, I was like, uh, nah. I was quite drawn to London or Melbourne. Mm. But then more and more, right? I think, I, I think Singapore is the best. You don't fake. Really? Sponsored by STB. No, really, really, really. Would you ever live abroad? Yes. Actually, I only recently realised that I might want to. Mm. For the longest time, my whole life, I never thought that I would. But one day, I might. Where? Yeah. Actually, you strike me as a Melbourne person. I didn't think about Australia just because the vibe's like good. Uh. Yeah. Okay, anyway. Yeah. Oh yeah, you are 100% moving. 100% la, I will. La. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you. Mm. Yeah, I would. La. Every career move I've made for the last like four career moves is with the goal of uh, or with the aim of moving overseas at some point. Where? Mm. I think I don't mind working in New York. Working there, I think the career prospect's good. Um, London, I think, is probably the most likely. Mm. Then you do look like a you London boy. London or Stockholm? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Who is your favorite artist at the moment? Taylor Swift. I think Bruno Major has always been my mm. favorite. Joey Tan. Wow. He really, I really it. missed that opportunity. Yeah, really. Yeah, actually. Why am I here? Crushed it. Okay. Um, who do you admire most and why? Taylor Swift. I think I like Cristiano Ronaldo. Because the guy really like them hardworking. Mm. He like wrecks to riches. Who I look up to is Miley Cyrus. Mm. Have you seen her body, her arms, Pilates body? Mm. I think her personality is so solid. Uh. I love like, her voice. She's just like so self-assured and she's just unapologetically her. Yeah. Her also like very voice, good man. life story. Because like yes. childhood like a bit troubled, you know, mm. got yeah. some problems then. Yeah. But she overcame that. Look yeah. at her at Grammys. Do you live by any particular mantra? No, I do not. Wake up and do your best. Is that a mantra? Damn. Mine has always been the same. Don't set yourself on fire trying to keep others warm. Mm. What's yours, Q? <laughs> uh, I think the current is feel you're happy. Feel you're happy. Mm. What are you most grateful for in life? I think my health. Health and my relationship. Yeah. I think my friendships are like the reason for why I'm so fulfilled. Mm. My girlfriends. Love them. How would you spend your last day on earth? <laughs> wow. I think I would just binge eat and with my with Jess. I want to go to Disneyland with Charlie. I want to eat Chick-fil-A and drink Dr. Pepper. Maybe I'll go I, to the Alps. Uh. One day, leh, you're in Singapore. You start point in I Singapore. I must be in Singapore. No, so at midnight, you find out you today is your last day. <gasps> <laughs> then you next the next day, 11.59, you die. Then I'll just spend time with my family. Long. Okay, is it easy for you to accept help from people? Why or why not? I think it's easy for me. Mm. I've never said no to help. Mm. But I think maybe sometimes you just don't want to look stupid. Mm, I think right? so. I think recent years, I have been more open to receiving help. I think last time I got a bit of like a pride issue. Mm. I recently yeah. unpacked in therapy that I don't like depending on people because I didn't really have 
people to depend on when I was very young. Mm. Yeah, I mm. think same. All right. What's the most daring thing you've done? Oh, the easy answer for me is that I bungee jump three times in my life. Wow, I don't need to bungee jump. Eh. I would not do for your spine. Yeah, no, I cannot. It was quite a Good. shook feeling uh, afterwards. Like, crack, uh. like wow. <laughs> expand like eh taller now yeah, like. <laughs> I think now when I look back right, I feel like the most daring thing I've done is go spelunking in this cave oh. in um Philippines spelunking it's <laughs> like cave diving and exploring that's my worst nightmare I think yeah I, think and I, did, it for, I, cannot, I, cannot, I did it for YouTube content eh. that's so fun Free. it was yeah. fun la. I was really having a lot of fun during the thing but when I look back it was really quite scary because there was no harness and like there's mm. a lot of like dead drops like you drop like five meters that kind. Yours? Quite scary. Uh, flew to New York to meet someone I met online. That's true. Yeah. Fair. That is so... That was, I think you won this that one. That was yeah. a bit... Okay, yeah. next. How would your friends describe you? <gasps> oh my god, we should do it for each other. Okay, one word each for Q. I feel like Nick is going to give me a bad one. Honestly. Adventurous. Eligible. <laughs> oh, what? I feel eligible? like I introduced you to a few guys... Um, before like... Eh, son, eligible. Yeah, I speak very highly of you. Oh, thank right. you. To my friends. I'm like... Yeah. Why for now? Well, thanks guys. Yeah. This is actually really nice of y'all. You're phenomenal. To say that. Joey, Joey. Yeah. Sunshine. I say I feel like she's like a, a big ball of sunshine. Like she's just really? bright. As I know that you have your lows. Yeah. But when you step into a room, mm. like there's just there's joy. <gasps> oh. Yeah. I think like yeah, la, like I am um, ca- caring, caring. I think mm. like considerate. La. Mm. Nick, Nick. Mm. Bloomberg. <laughs> Dependable. Like, if you accept the task, you will get it done. Oh, well, I, I'm gonna say, like, goal-oriented. Eh. But in a in a very good way. Yeah. Like, everything you do, right, there's, like, a sheet, there's a pie chart, there's a freaking graph. Like, I'm the opposite <laughs> of you. Logical. And I, sometimes I want to be like you. Mm, you know logical. what I mean? What is your best adulting tip you would give to someone? Honestly, just do your best. You can't fault yourself for doing your best all the time. If yeah. it's the best you can do. I agree. Eh. This is my mm. thing also. Don't compare, don't complain, don't criticise. Mm. Yeah, CCC. What is your guilty pleasure? <gasps> huh? Oh my god, Maggie, Maggie, me, curry flavor. Must be food, ah. Can be anything. Eh? We thought of it very is my guilty different pleasure. things. The first word that came to my mind was pass. Pass? Huh? I love like the squeeze pimple. Squeeze yeah, I, I love disgusting things. Like oh. I love blackheads. I love pass. I love toe jam. I love belly button dirt. The dick but ear. I oh. love. Interesting. It's a safe space. <laughs> I think mine is food, so Make I think sure it's, this is a safe um, space too. Probably like eat ice cream from tap. Huh? Then That's you put back the spoon, is it? Yeah, but it's my tap. Okay. Huh? No judgment yes. there. Are okay. you a clean or messy person? I'm clean. I'm clean. I'm clean, but I can be messy also. Question your shower how many times a day? Twice. Once. Twice. <laughs> Biggest pet peeve. I think crying. <laughs> really. I think the first time I said it, it was like half serious as a relationship pet peeve yeah. but I think it has expanded to be like general mm. pet peeve mm. uh, I don't like it when people don't look like service stuff in the eye like they don't look up when they're talking to service stuff I oh. really cannot stand it yeah. fair I don't like it when people are con- constantly late what is your favourite food? beef bowl gyodon I think mine is hot pot eh. can or not? can or not? cheating because got so many leo. choose a dish bao chow mi oh mm. interesting yeah Joey? Okay, if I had to pick one, Chick-fil-A. Okay. What's the biggest thing you're struggling with? Not um, having Chick-fil-A in Singapore. Sorry, continue. <laughs> uh, I think time management. Mm. Mm. I feel like I've gotten better with it, but sometimes doom scrolling is is my worst enemy. Lah. I think I'm a bit overworked. Yes, I was going to say the same thing. I, I struggle to prioritise rest. Like, mm. it's not even prioritising rest. I don't realise I'm not scheduling rest at all. Mm. Mm. What's most important to you right now? My sense of self. Mm. Yeah. Just knowing who I am, I guess. And what I want in out of life. Mm. My wife, my friends, my health. <laughs> Not your answer. It's not easy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, health and wealth of like all my intimate circles. Yeah. What advice would you give yourself a year ago? Oh, hey, not very long ago. Huh? Relax. Ah. Do the podcast. Rest. And drink oh. water. Are you more confident this year compared to last year? Hell yes. Mm. I think yeah. about the same, yeah. la, but a little bit. La. You? Yeah, a lot also. I, honestly, really therapy really changed my life. Mm. I think when you feel good inside, it starts to change mm. and be noticeable on the outside. Should try, I should try. 
Yeah. Okay, last question. What do you want to say to yourself in a year? I'll say YOLO. Oh, like oh. legit, you only have one life. Just live it. Make the mistakes. Go on that trip. Spend the money. Yes. Earn it back. Yes. Um, it's only going to get better. Last year, never do health checkup. So this year, must do. Correct. Every Correct. two years. We should. Yeah, it's true. Eh. Actually, I need to put that in my calendar soon. Yeah. Yeah. And that was 40 questions for our 40th episode. Thank you so much for watching this far if you've watched everything. Wow, then 100 episodes, we need to do a two-hour episode. 100 minutes of something. <gasps> of planking. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I would die. No la. So thanks for watching the episode. Uh, if you like this episode, go and watch the other episodes as well. There are 39 of them. Mm, and uh, don't forget to uh, like, share and subscribe as well. And also make sure that you have switched on your notifications so you don't miss another episode from here on out. And comment below, what's your favourite episode so far? Mm. I'm actually very curious to know. Or comment below which was your favourite question and answer. And we will see you on the next episode. On the 41st. Bye. Bye. What is your favourite city? Oh, so interesting. I like city in Orhalisa. <laughs> There's a spectrum, okay. I'm a physical 100 car guy. I'm a guy. <laughs> I'm a physical 100 kind of girl. But I appreciate Kyoto and I read books like <laughs> Tattoos of All Streets, okay? Yeah. What do you want to say to yourself in a year? Don't lose yourself again. <laughs> Eminem. <laughs> lose yourself in a minute. <laughs>